Hey, this is Eric Hammer here, the man with the hat. Here you go. So uh, to, in today's video, what I want to talk to you about is a question I see a lot. Do you need money in order to do affiliate marketing? Uh, first, a little bit of housekeeping before I get into anything. If you're new to the channel, if you like what you see here, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and then hit the bell icon as well so you'll be notified when I upload a fresh video. I upload videos every single day. Uh, when I do my free training like this, uh, there's nothing to buy here. I will never be selling you something when I do a free training. If, however, I'm doing a review video, review videos, basically what I review is courses as well as software to help you make money online, usually in affiliate marketing. When I do review videos, I'm always wearing my hat. I happen to like fedoras. I'm known for wearing them. And so basically, if I like the product, then I'm going to tip my hat to the product and say, great job. If I don't like the product, I'll say, well, sorry, better luck next time. But for today, I want to talk to you all about whether or, you, whether or not you need money in order to do affiliate marketing. So let's get right into it. The answer is yes and no. Um, and the reason I'm saying that is because it's really the wrong question to be asking, do I need money in order to do affiliate marketing? Uh, the real question is, how much am I willing to trade in order to not spend money on affiliate marketing? And basically, you're trading two things. First of all, you're going to be trading, mostly you're going to be trading time. Because if you don't want to spend money on affiliate marketing, then it's going to cost you time to do affiliate marketing. So that's the biggest issue of all. But beyond that, beyond that, the other issue that you're going to run into when doing affiliate marketing is going to be a trade on reputation. So let me explain what I mean by that. So first of all, very briefly, for those who are not really familiar, affiliate marketing basically means that you're taking a cut of whatever somebody is selling. So, uh, for example, if I have a product I want to sell, uh, I need buyers. I need people to buy them from them from me. That's just, you know, marketing 101. That's the most basic of things to know. Now, in order to get buyers, I could either go out and get them myself or I could go to you and say, hey, look, you go and get me a buyer for my product. I'll give you half of half of whatever I earn from selling this product to this person. That's called affiliate marketing. And it's a very easy business model to get into. It's very, very lucrative. People make hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars doing this all the time. There are a lot of people who do this full time. Now, the catch is like this. A uh, couple of things. First of all, because the barrier to entry, which means that the amount of money or the amount of time, that is, the amount of effort that's required is so low, there is a tremendous amount of competition in this industry. It is one of the easiest things to get into. And so a lot of people try it, millions upon millions of people try it, uh, or think they're going to try it, or want to try it, or forgot to try it, or might try it, whatever. Bottom line is, most people want to do it. Very few people actually succeed in it. And I actually just dropped another video yesterday talking about why people don't succeed in it. I invite you to go take a look at it. It's here on my channel. Uh, right now, what I want to talk about is the question of whether or not you need money in order to do this, in order to do affiliate marketing. So. Uh, basically, what you can do theoretically, you could theoretically just start off doing affiliate marketing with nothing more than a YouTube channel just like I've got. You can go ahead and download um, free programs uh, to design your cut your thumbnails and uh, your uh, YouTube uh, artwork like you see here, where it says that, you know that with my logo and with my thumbnails here. Uh, I'm going to show you a, pro a program that can do that in just a moment. It's completely free. You can do it for free. You don't have to spend a single penny. You are going to have to learn how to use the program. You're going to have to do some research, and it's going to take time to do it, which is why I say that the question is not really a matter of money or, uh, or not money. It's a question of time or money, okay, because mostly it's going to be a matter of you either take the time to learn to do this correctly and you take the time to do the things that need to be done or you go and pay somebody to do it for you. The other thing would be that uh, trading reputation for money. So if you want to do it for free, but you don't really know what you're doing yet, um, if you don't know how to design a thumbnail, if you don't know how to design uh, nice artwork uh, for your uh, for your YouTube channel, for example, then you might put something up that looks really crappy, which you're not paying anything for it, but it's not really going to get you where you want to go either. Because uh, today, it's uh, the YouTube market is extremely crowded. You do have to have some design skills in order to create something that looks really nice that makes people want to click on things. Okay, so that's number one. 
Uh, number two is going to be um, a question of, well, basically, as I said in another video, when you do affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing, you don't make money on the sale. You make money on the sale after the sale. That's what John Chow says. That's a, it's a saying I really love. And it's really, really true. The fact of the matter is that you can make a ton of money uh, doing affiliate marketing, but uh, you're going to basically be reinventing the wheel every single time you do it. I used to work for a moving company, and basically when I worked for the moving company, we did long-distance moves. So we were based, for instance, in, in New York. And so somebody moved to, say, Salt Lake City, Utah, and then they called me up a, a year or two later and say, hey, I want to move to Denver now. I, know, I didn't have trucks in Salt Lake City to move them from Salt Lake City to Denver. And so sometimes we might be able to work out something with a local company and say we'll take a cut of it, whatever, but it really wasn't very pretty. It wasn't, you know, organized. And so I was reinventing the wheel every time. And when you do affiliate marketing completely for free, um, you're basically reinventing the wheel because every single time that you uh, go and get a sale, you send the sale to somebody else, that person goes ahead and makes a sale and they're going to capture that person's contact information and sell them stuff year after year after year after year after year. When you do it, you're not getting anything out of it. You're getting the one sale and then you have to move on and get another customer because you didn't capture any information. So there is a way to get around this. Um, I discussed it in another video here. Uh, I'm not going to go over it in great detail here. But the bottom line is that um, you're going to want to create what's called a list, an email list. There are free options. I'm going to show you one free option. I'm not a big fan of this place, to be perfectly honest, but there, there, it is a free option that you can use to get started with. But again, then you're going to be trading reputation for money. And I'll explain to you what that means in just a moment. So first of all, as far as places to do affiliate marketing, uh, there are millions upon millions upon millions of websites that you can do affiliate marketing with all over the web, you know, really just any way you could possibly think of. I'm going to show you a few of the more popular options, but really, truthfully, it doesn't really matter. You can go anywhere you like. Okay, so one of the most popular options is right here. This here is called ClickBank. Now, ClickBank is one of the most popular places for digital products. Basically, with ClickBank, what you can do is you can pick out whatever digital product you're interested in uh, offering up for sale and you can go and basically uh, in most cases you can just grab grab a link and put up a link to it wherever you want to put up the link and there you go you're done okay i'm not actually going to show it to you right now uh, it's going to take too long um, and i'm going to do another video specifically just about clickbank but i just want to show you very briefly what it looks like so you can get an idea of what's here okay um, my picture seems to have disappeared from it from here. I apologize for that. Anyway, so let's get back, get, get into it now. Another, another very popular option is Amazon Associates. Uh, basically, you can sell anything on Amazon and earn up to 10% commission on it. Very, very easy to do. Very, very popular to do. Okay, one of the best options available actually. Uh, Amazon Associates. The only thing is that the money is not really that great. Usually it's about 5% commissions. Um, and so the, the nice thing is you're selling the same price that Amazon is selling it for. You're basically just saying you're driving traffic to them. But the amount of money that you're going to make is not that much. On ClickBank, you can make as much as 100% commission on the front end product. And another possibility is called OfferVault.com. This is actually a really, really nice, nice place. You can also find, in addition to selling things like um, affiliate products, you can also do what's called CPA, or cost per action, which basically means if somebody goes and uh, puts in their email address, you can get money for that. Or, for example, if somebody were to go and uh, make a phone call, you can get money for that as well. So it's a really nice option. And finally, you have the eBay Partner Network, Believe it or not, eBay will actually allow you to partner with them and you can sell on behalf of eBay. Anything that's pretty much being sold on eBay, you can get a small commission off of it. It's not much money, but it is available. You can go ahead to partnernetwork.ebay.com and you'll be able to get money from them. So all these things are completely free to sign up. You don't have to spend any money. And of course, a YouTube channel is completely free to sign up to as well. So where does it come into that you need to spend money? Okay, so there's a couple of things. 
first and foremost is the issue of creating your artwork okay as i said there is a free place i can show you right now where to go it's called canva.com let's go there right now and they do have um, a number of options available that you can actually customize on your own here at Canva. All right. Um, I'm not, I actually don't use Canva for my own artwork here uh, on YouTube. My own artwork I actually designed with a paid program on the Mac called Affinity Designer. But Canva is a great option to do it for free if you don't have any money to spend. The catch is that uh, you're kind of limited when you do Canva because you can only do because, you, you know, they have the, the built-in designs that they offer you, which there's some nice designs, don't get me wrong. But they're not going to be like the be-all, end-all that you're going to want in order to really rank here on YouTube. So that's number one. Now, the other issue is going to be basically you really, 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 really do want to build yourself an email list. Uh, building an email list does require what's called an autoresponder. Basically, it's a piece of software, usually cloud-based, which will automatically send your emails. Sorry, it looks like Loom is not giving my giving me a lot of love tonight with putting up my picture here. I apologize for that. Um, wait, here we go. There I am. Here I come. There I am. Hello. Okay. Anyway, so you need autoresponder. Now, autoresponder basically what that means is it's a program that lets you send out a series of emails to your customers to your email list. There is a free option. It's called Mailchimp.com. Okay. Now, uh, when it comes to this, there's a reason why I don't like it. Two reasons. First of all, Mailchimp is known for be, for closing down accounts of affiliate marketers. They're not big fans of affiliate marketing. Uh, but more than that, when you get a free account, at the bottom of it, it says powered by Mailchimp.com. Okay. Now, and it says get your free account today, something like that. It's not advertising. They're basically what they're doing is they're giving you a free account in exchange for allowing you to put, allow, for allowing you allowing them to put advertising onto your emails. Now the issue is that in this case you're not just you're not trading so much money, uh, so much time for money as much as you're trading reputation for money. Because if you really want to take this seriously, you want to look professional, you don't want to have something where it looks like oh he's losing a free account. Okay, you want something that looks like. This is somebody who's professional taking this seriously, that it's their own autoresponder, that, you know, they're doing it the right way and not the wrong way. Okay, if you go to my website, ericmhammer.com, there'll be a link down below. You can take a look at the resources section. I personally use a service called AWeber. AWeber is not super cheap. It's not super expensive. It's not super cheap, but they're reliable, and they've been in business about 30 years, and you don't have to have anything on your emails that say powered by, powered by AWeber, which is a big deal. The other thing you might want to do is to build yourself a website. Uh, again, this is a matter of looking professional. You can just have a YouTube channel. You don't have to have a website. But if you want to really take this seriously, you want to take it to the next level, make it some serious money and not just some pocket change doing affiliate marketing, you're going to want to build a website. Now, there is there are several free options. One of the best that I recommend is called Wix.com, W-I-X.com. Okay. It's a drag and drop website builder. It's very, very easy to use Wix. The catch is that, again, just like with MailChimp, you're going to be putting up advertising on Wix. People are going to take a look and say, oh, he doesn't even, doesn't even want to spend the money for a paid uh, web account. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is not professional. But you can put together your own website on Wix. It's, drag and, it's a drag and drop system. And the other issue, of, again, of course, just like with Canva, just like with anything, is that you do have to do the work yourself of customizing your website yourself. If you don't know what you're doing, you can make a really, really crappy looking website. I've seen a lot of them and they're just not, they're not pretty. So you're going to want to take the time to, you know, either learn how to do it or hire somebody to do it. Again, it's a matter of how much you want to make, make this work, how determined you are to make this work, and how professional you want to look. If you want it to look professional, if you want to do the job correctly, it's then you know you might want to spend some money. You can do it for free, but you're going to be trading time and time for your money. Okay. The other thing is going to be driving traffic. Traffic basically means people visiting your website or your YouTube channel or your offers or whatever it is. Okay. Now, there's two issues involved in driving traffic. Number one is finding out how to do it. Number two is going to be actually doing it. Okay. 
And there are free ways and there are paid ways to do to drive traffic to your website. There are hundreds upon hundreds of ways to do each of these things. The free ways uh, usually do require you spending time to do them. Okay, you're trading your time for your money because it takes time to build it, build it up, and it takes time to build up your traffic to the point where you're getting free traffic. It can be done. It's not impossible. I've done it. Many, many people have done it, but it does take more time. If that's something that is important to you, if time is an issue for you, you're going to want to spend the money on paid traffic. So that's issue number one. Issue number two is going to be, how do you do it? Okay, now again, you have two choices. You can trade time for money, or you can you can use money, and then uh, but you guys have to spend something. Basically, there are paid courses, and if you go to my website, you'll see some really really wonderful paid courses. I recommend starting out with the Trinity by Anthony Macuso. I think it's like thirteen dollars or something. It's really cheap, and he has a lot of good ideas. And when you purchase the Trinity for, through my link, I'm also going to give you my traffic multiplier training, which gives you five great ideas on building free traffic okay um and it's 13 dollars. it's not it's not expensive i'm not trying to sell it to you you can do whatever you want this is not not about selling anything literally my goal is to give you free free information here if you don't want to buy the trinity that's not a problem you don't have to do it and i'll tell you what you do have to do instead what you have to do is go here on youtube and start searching for videos teaching you how to drive traffic okay there are dozens of videos for free here on YouTube. You don't have to pay for it, but you're going to be spending a lot more time. You're going to end up seeing a lot of crappy videos teaching you things that are not working today. Okay. And so you're going to have to sift through the information. It could take you dozens of hours to sift through the information in order to find out all the information that you're going to need in order to be able to do this correctly. Or you can purchase a course which is already done for you and which will teach you the right way to do it correctly from the uh, from the get-go and you don't have to sit there endlessly going back and forth trying to figure out is this a good course is this not a good course does this guy know what he's talking about does this guy not, not really know what he's talking about you get something that's already done for you from somebody who already knows what they're doing so that's basically what it, what it comes down to trading time for money as a uh, when it, when it comes to this and the other thing of course is going to be again as far as traffic is concerned there's uh, there's free methods such as what's called SEO, which stands for search engine optimization, getting your sites ranked inside of Google. When people search for something, that's uh, uh, that's something you can do. It's expen It's either expensive to do it or it takes time to do it. There's no two ways about it. SEO is either expensive or time consuming. Okay, it's just a, that's the way it is because there's billions upon billions of websites, and getting it right either requires doing a lot of manual work or requires paying somebody else to do the manual work or paying for software that will do will partially automate the manual work for you. The software that completely automates the work, I can tell you right now it's crap, don't bother buying it. Okay, but there's software that partially will automate the work for you, but the stuff that partially automates the work for you is very, very, very pricey. I'm talking thousands of dollars. There are other ways of driving free traffic. There's things like Facebook groups, um, I'm not going to go into all the details. You can find out on your own, or you can purchase Anthony's course and get my traffic multiplier. Um, but there are dozens of free traffic methods. I don't even cover all of them in my traffic multiplier training, to be honest. Um, I cover five of what I think are the best methods, but there are dozens upon dozens of other methods that you can use to drive free traffic. Again, but it's a matter of do you want to spend time or do you want to spend money? And that's really what the bottom line is when you're asking the question, do I need money for affiliate marketing? The answer is no. But when you spend zero money, you are trading time and you're trading reputation in order to spend zero money for your affiliate marketing product. Bottom line is, yes, you can do it without money. But if you really, really want to succeed in this industry, Ultimately, you're going to probably want to spend some money to do it correctly to make sure that you're really making a good living doing this. Uh, if you love this love this video, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell icon. Check out my other videos. There's dozens of them here now, and I've dropped new videos every single day, and I would love to hear from you. Please comment in the comment section. I promise you, if you comment, I will respond to you. That's just how I roll here. Thank you, and have a lovely day.